Hello, I'm Loredana and today I will show you a demo of a decentralized file system with a file tree built by consensus. I have already written some articles about building a file system for a universal OS and about complex consensus operations. They are linked in the description. Today's demo presents the current state of our prototype. It is built on D-Type, which is a decentralized type system on Ethereum. So we have a simple folder structure of our universal file system. And as you can see, some folders have gray icons, meaning that the permissions for inserting, updating, and deleting are restricted. The users folder, however, has a black icon, meaning that the people can make their own folders there with full individual permissions. Permissions are given to Ethereum addresses and we already have MetaMask connected. So let's add a new folder under users. We will use Swarm to attach a folder description. This proposal should be directly added to the file system and we can see it now. So now we have full permissions for this folder and we can add files inside it. But we can also propose folders or files to the restricted folders following the same process. What happens now is the proposals enter a review phase and note the green color. They are not yet part of the file system, but people can vote to approve them or not. If we go here, we can see how many people voted and we can vote ourselves. And we can see the number of votes for yes has increased by one. The voting mechanism itself will not be covered in this demo. Let's switch to another Ethereum address. We can see that this address does not have permissions to the user1 folder that we previously created but we'll use it to vote on the app1 file and we will vote with no. Again, we see the number of votes for no has increased by one. With the current settings, we need a couple of users to vote in order to reach a result. We now have three dismiss votes and five approve votes. We vote again with yes. And we will see the file going from in review to being registered. And if we click this button, we will see the content of the file uploaded on Swarm. 
fine-grained permissions are coming soon. You will be able to control who updates files and on what attributes. And to set the default permissions that will be inherited by all folder children. A more in-depth explanation of our permission system will come soon. So subscribe and stay tuned. Thank you for watching and make sure to see our other demos.